Raymond, you be cool, okay? Listen. Take care of yourself, man. Bye, you too, buddy. All right, my man. Later. Later. Get your blanket. There you go. I got it. So that was Raymond. I didn't want to turn the camera on him, per se. Uh, but I saw him crossing the street this morning pretty early. It's clear he's on some drugs. I asked him, was he? And he said, yeah, uh, he's, he does meth. Um, I asked him how long he's been living on the streets. He said five months. Um, and I made this video just to share with you, you know, we treat people who are on drugs or are homeless as these criminals to be afraid of and all of that stuff. But that dude is somebody's son. That's a child of God right there. And, you know, I don't have a religion. I choose to, to, to act as and move from the space of love is my religion. But, you know, there are people, let's just take Jesus for example. Jesus didn't separate himself. Whether it was prostitutes, whether it was homeless, whether it was anybody, Jesus saw himself in every single person and saw the truth of them. And so to me, that's my job. My job is to see the truth of people. The facts are that man, Raymond, is sleeping on the streets and he is addicted to meth. The truth of Raymond is that he is pure beauty, pure light, pure love, and sometimes it takes hitting rock bottom, and sometimes, and even sometimes, all the time, it takes somebody seeing them, truly seeing them, and knowing that they are pure love. Guys, there's a part of all of us that has never been hurt, harmed, or endangered. There's a part of all of us that is still, still pure, still innocent, and still loves with reckless abandon. I invite you, I challenge you, to move into that space with those who you may be afraid of. And I'm not saying this is you guys, but I, I just needed, I felt like I needed to um, have that conversation. Um, I often do a lot of stuff that most people do not see. Um, including picking up, you know, what we would call dangerous homeless people or things like that. I give them rides, I talk to them, I tell them they're special and that they're loved. Um, and today I decided to turn a camera on. So, appreciate you guys. Love you. Love you guys.